Everybody. Welcome back to Durbin's Bourbon. I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. We're doing another review and this one is Johnny Drum Bourbon, Kentucky Bourbon. It is, it is a small batch bourbon. Uh, alcohol proof on it is, what was it, 101, 101 proof I believe. It is made by Willet Distillery. Had to do a little digging to find that. Why can't I get the thing off? Josh keep is talking. working I'll, I'll get on it. the uh, removal of the oh, wax it's got label. Oh, it's got a plastic, plastic on it. Um, I've read mixed reviews on the Johnny Drum. Been trying to get it for a while. Josh Wait, keep talking. Gonna keep, <laughs> he's going to keep messing with uh, trying to remove the label. Uh, it is, like I said, a Kentucky bourbon. Small batch, they say. Uh, made by Willet. 101 proof. Uh, some of the reviews have like been it. saying that it's uh, a very um, <laughs> like oaky, oaky uh, whiskey. And y'all are getting a chance to see. They ah, really don't want to have anyone open this product. Well, it doesn't look like it's... Is it a cork? I don't know. Is it a screw off? No, but look. It looks like it's got a plastic... Uh, maybe we should have done this before we started. See what I mean? They had the little. Yeah, we need we need we need knives and tools. Of course, you don't have anything. The bar, and you don't have anything sharp. Hmm. I think we might have to restart this. <laughs> should we pause? Should we? Yeah, you may pause it, and we'll try to open oh, yeah. it. Let's see. Let's go. I'll go make sure it's not. <laughs> And we're back. We had to take a short break, as you could see at the beginning of the video. Josh was trying to open this. It's just a it, screw off. It gives the illusion that it's a peel the wax and pop the cork. Couldn't be farther from the truth. It's a freaking twist cap, but the plastic tabs that hold the lid together I had to get a knife and cut each one of them before we could get the thing off it was ridiculous could have been very so dangerous could have hurt ourselves had we been drinking more it could have been a uh, life-threatening situation yes so but since we're so level-headed we figured it out yeah. about us while everything we worked was going around crazy it. It was not easy to open. <laughs> no. And you know what? Right now, at first thought, I'm going to give it a thumbs down for the freaking lid. What if you yes. really want to have that drink and you break your hand trying to get the damn thing off? That's true. It makes me angry. I see that. I got to calm down yeah. a bit. Maybe you need a sip of whiskey. <laughs> I'll get one. <laughs> I'll get one. Oh, man. Okay. Uh. <laughs> you saw the intro we did already, where it's from, who the distiller, all that cool stuff. Uh, price on it. We did not get to that before we were sidetracked with trying to open the damn thing. Uh, running price for Johnny Drum is thirty four ninety five in our area. <clears throat> we had to order it from the warehouse. It didn't make it into our liquor stores in the area of our state, but they did carry it in other liquor stores. So those of you that live in a liquor control state, if by chance you have a search engine or an ability to search your state's uh, inventory supply at the liquor stores and you see a particular product in a liquor store that could be uh, hundreds of miles away from you, do not despair. Call your liquor store, your local liquor store manager, have them check with your distribution <laughs> warehouse that is in charge of your entire state. Nine times out of 10, if they have it in a store or two in your states, they'll have it at the warehouse and your liquor store manager should be able to order it for you and bring it to their particular store for you to purchase. If, you're, if you have good relations with your liquor store managers and stuff, I bet most of them would do that for you. Um, that's what ours does and she hooks us up on a regular basis 
Thank you, Bernadette. You are awesome. That was very informative. It was. Yeah. I had to dis. I had to I like <laughs> diffuse that anger. Diverting his anger from the bottle opening. <sighs> oh, I love it. Let's get to nose this. Ooh, uh, Johnny Drum. Never heard of it before today. And I've been. That's how. School I am. How. Just not paying attention. Well rounded stuff. Like yeah. That. I've seen sure. it on some of the other whiskey channels. Yeah. And uh, some of the Instagram accounts that follow us and we follow them, they've done reviews of it. So <laughs> it piqued my interest. I like the label. It is an old label. There's a little history. The alleged history that goes beyond or that's attached to this is uh, Johnny uh, Drum was a Civil War veteran. He tried to sign up for uh, either the Confederate or the Union side. One of the sides refused to have him because of his age. So he joined the other side and <clears throat> he was so young at the time, he was a drummer for his regiment. The Civil War finished and he moved back home to Kentucky, which is a border state. Some of you might know that in your history for the Civil War. And uh, he started making whiskey because he had <laughs> excess grains like all of them did back then. And what do you do with excess corn and stuff? You make whiskey out of it to preserve it. So he did that and the history followed suit all the way to now, which is what their neat little story is. Whether it's true or not, who really knows? But we'll see good about story. the quality of the whiskey. Sounds good. Does it? Yeah. Good caramely. <sighs> Yeah, it's caramel. Sweet. Barrel, typical bourbon. Caramel. Real light vanilla. It is. Real light. Um, decent decent <clears throat> color. A light, a light amber. It doesn't have an age statement, huh? It doesn't. Uh, the original <clears throat> Johnny Drum, this is a private stock. There are three different labels of Johnny Drum. There's a black label, a green label, and then the private stock, which is considered of the three, the highest alcohol content and their upper shelf product. Um, it used to have a 15 year age statement from what oh. research I have found. It is not a 15 year bourbon anymore. By the so color, they, I'd say there's no yeah, way it's 15 So year. they have removed the age statement and it's probably considerably younger looking at the color and the nose, it does not have a long age mm -hmm. smell or color characteristics to it. I do detect cinnamon. That was what was on my nose. Yeah. Cinnamon, red cinnamons or yeah. red hots kind of. Cinnamon. Cinnamons, yeah. I get that. It's got, the, it has that typical bourbon smell, alcohol, 101 proof. I'm pretty sure it was 101. 50.5%. Um, yes. Yeah, so, so right there, 101. Yep, 101. So I did re retain that when I was reading on it. So I didn't have a little bite. Trying to, to get the top off didn't deter you from your <laughs> no. knowledge. Typical bourbon smell. Yep. Vanilla, cinnamon, but like you said, it's got oak. It's a little lighter though. Yeah. Not a heavy. It has. Doesn't have a heavy char for sure. No. Kind of has a little bit of a young, mm -hmm. a youngish, youngish, youngish uh, nose Youngest. to it. Maybe a little green. Yeah. Green whiskey. So it might be young. Maybe a two, four year old, two or four. Who knows? Mm. In that ballpark, maybe. If anybody watching does know for sure, please leave I just us a comment. I say by the color. Yeah. It's probably at least four. Yeah, probably. I don't think it's a. Yeah. Four would probably be a good guess. My professional Four to seven, maybe. Opinion. Yeah. Highly trained professional. Should we give her a Shoot yeah. try? Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Alcohol burn up front. Some green young whiskey. Some caramel. Leather. I get leather. A little bit of leather, yeah. There's a little oak in there, but not much. A little bit of pepper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the rye pepper. Yeah. Um, could not find anything on the mash bill. I 
I would guess it's a rye mm -hmm. mash bill. It's definitely I'm not a weeded. Guessing. No, it just by the nose, you can tell it's not yeah, a weeded. Yeah, it doesn't have that typical nose of a weeder. So I, I'm leaning towards a rye mash bill. Yeah, I feel like I would not add water to this for me. I'm gonna just because I'm curious, why not? but I'm detecting those rye notes that, for me, adding water doesn't impress my palate at all oh the second one i get a lot of rye mm -hmm. for sure yeah there's a, a lot, lot of that rye yeah. spice a that lot water. of that rye Go spice ahead. in there Let's see if i can josh is going to attempt to use this again i think i figured it out has a little trouble well they with the way they, they the fake me out bone. Uh, glass blown product from Scotland. Just because you know how to use blown products, Boom. and I don't. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I am not a product of the 70s. Maybe I am. Yeah, you are. I am. But so are you, so. What did it do for it? I, I'm, I am not going to add water. I know my own palate, and I no, really think better. that that is going to not impress me. It kind of just took a little bit of the, it smells the same, but took a little bit of the uh, alcohol out. Yeah. I don't, I don't well, it, it lightened little, a little bit. Yeah. A little more, a little more sweetness. Yeah. And rye, characteristically, you add a little water. It does Yeah. Smell. make things kind of subdue it a little bit, maybe, or sweeten it on the nose. You all right? Yeah. I did say the price already. Yep. Our handy dandy liquor store. Don't need that. I like the nose. It's got a clean nose. I didn't really check the viscosity or oh, the man. legs. Yeah or no? You won't like it with water. Yeah, I had definitely a feeling, get the rye. Yeah, which I like. I like it with a little drop of water. Better. Yeah. The legs are fast, so <clears throat> it's not a real oily bourbon. Yeah, I, yeah. I, you're right. That's definitely got, you can, I can feel, taste the rye. Yeah. For sure. I had a feeling with the nose, water for me would not work. And yeah, I don't, I don't think know. you'd like it any better. I don't know if that's an indication that I drink too much whiskey or that I have a refined palate and I know what I will like and what I won't by this nose. Well, I think when you add the water, the rye always seems to go come to the forefront and you don't like it that does. flavor. Yeah. Which I like it. So yeah, I can some drink things, rye. Some, I'm, yeah, there's some rye I just don't yeah. like. But like we searched all over. I like over bourbons that are high. Rye, yeah, I like bur bourbons with high rye contact. There's some rye whiskeys that I'm just like not a fan mm -hmm. of, and it could be the type of rye, maybe the, the actual. It's a nice whiskey, mm -hmm. not really not real expensive. If you do buy it, make sure you have some way of opening it, because it was a bear. <laughs> it was a bear. <laughs> I really bear. wanted to break the thing he off. He did. It was awesome. My favorite, how something like that could set you into just a downward spiral of I was, hate for the product. I, I was ready to not give it a good review just based on the bottle. <clears throat> it's good, though. It is. What was I'm it, 35 really, bucks? Yeah, 37 I don't know. I mean, if the history is true, it's yeah, cool. Yeah, 35 I like the bottle. Mm-hmm. As it's far as bottle. bourbons go, I'd probably pick other ones over that for the mm -hmm. same price range. I mean, I I like uh, like Elijah Craig probably better than that. See, I'll take that over Elijah yeah. Craig all day long. You don't like Elijah Craig? I'm though. not a fan of Elijah Craig, and I'm um, I keep trying it. I have a yeah. bottle behind us. I've had it for years, although. You like I the like the proof one? I like the Elijah Craig 18 year. Yeah. That's a decent bourbon. It's pretty oaky, but I like that leather and oak mm. in that particular <clears throat> uh bourbon. Maybe I shouldn't say I like it more than this, but I'm just I'm curious. I think when this oxidizes a little bit, it's going to it's going to develop into something a little more smooth. Cuz whenever you crack a new yeah. bottle, 
it and you then you let it sit and oxidize especially if you don't put any of the preservatives or anything in there the air preservers or some of the wine preservers that work fantastic in bourbons um, I think if you just let them oxidize naturally a little bit uh, it definitely changes the flavor because <clears throat> I've noticed that with some of my favorite whiskeys I prefer them when they're just past the neck and they've had some oxidation to them I would recommend it yeah for private sure. stock it's good our good friend Ralph um, he's got one too. So, Ralph, when you uh, crack your bottle, be forewarned, my friend. It's not <laughs> easy to open. I hope you have better luck opening your bottle than we did this one. And don't don't lose your temper. It's it's maddening. Watch him. He'll be like, I don't know, fellas. I just yeah, pulled the thing right off. off. Right. He is <clears throat> he is a pretty stout fella, so he'll probably be able to open it no stout problem. Fella. Very, very strong. Um, I'd recommend it. Yeah. Price, price is good. It's a decent it's a whiskey. Bourbon. Has a good flavor. It's got it a good story. Good story. Fun little story. Doesn't linger real long on the palate. I got all the typical uh, flavor characteristics. A little bit of vanilla. Some cinnamon. Pretty mm -hmm. dominant on the cinnamon spice. And I think that's probably attributed to the rye. Yeah, I think it's, it's I'd say 100% it's got a higher rye content. Yes. For sure, especially after adding water. Yeah. So I think that's where a lot of that cinnamon, that spicy flavor comes from. Uh, it's uh, it's got a good a good mix of the, you know, caramely sweetness too. Mm -hmm. Vanilla. Yeah, it does have that, that rye nose. A good whiskey. Mm-hmm. Everyone out there, remember, <clears throat> like, and subscribe. Um, as always, enjoy your whiskey or bourbons. Any, any way, way you like. like. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm.